goes again. Despite what the thumbnail might indicate, I did not watch the 2017 version of Cardcaptor Sakura, but the original version, which was released from 1998 to 2000. And honestly, I do not care about the criticism that can be thrown at the show. I know that it has its flaws, and that is definitely a product of its time. You don't have to watch every episode of Cardcaptor Sakura to understand the overarching plot, but can skip a few here and there, and you would still understand everything perfectly well. Some might not enjoy this episodical approach, but as already stated, it is a product of its time, and back then, this approach was way more common. Also, you might get annoyed by the similar structure of each episode, as most of the episodes are quite repetitive, so the overall goal of each character might not seem as important. And also, I know that we live in a time in which shonen rules and sort of became the face of the anime community, and hey, I'm also part of the problem. I love me some good shonen. But this unfortunately led to the slow vanish of magical girls and shoujo in general. And I might be wrong about this, but it is just a personal observation of mine. However, I can at least say that there is no longer such a big code following for shoujo and that the shoujo shows that were rather popular in the last years were often reboots. So I just want to show that I still have a very big love for shoujo and magical girls as my love for anime was manifested through that genre. So today this video is dedicated to the card Captain Sakura and my love for it. And heads up, this will not be a deep dive into the show but I will rather recall the feelings the show evokes in me. which is. Comfort. Whenever I'm sick and I need something to distract me from my sickness, Cat Captain Sakura is my cure. It delivers a feeling of home and it might be the 90s aesthetic, but it just draws you in with warmth and sweetness that you cannot escape. The girly vibes and the pinkish color scheme of the show make it so nice to look at and perfectly summarize what I love about Shoujo. The unconditional love and the knowledge that everything will be alright in the end makes a show worth watching as it indulges the viewer in a sort of fantasy and offers an escapism into a world that is rose-colored. And we know that it is rose-colored and too cute and just too pure, but that is what makes it so good. And at first I was quite put off by the show, to be honest, because I was not used to shoujo shows in which the main character is in primary school, like hello. There are usually teenagers that look like grown-ass women, you know? But Sakura actually being like 10 makes the show for me because it doesn't have some unnecessary plot lines that are sometimes quite creepy in shoujo and the characters are not sexualized, at least not to the part that I'm still watching. Instead, the love and connections the characters have is in the focus. Sakura's love towards her family, friends and classmates and her deceased mother. All those kinds of love are dealt with delicately and with so much care that it immediately drives you back to this incredible joy that you felt as a kid. A type of joy that compares to the excitement that you felt as a child before Christmas. It is pure and good. And even the death of the mother is not dealt with as a tragic incident, but whenever the character talk about it, it still does exude some sort of comfort. And I know it sounds bizarre, but whenever the topic is addressed, you never are left felt sad, but feel rather full of heart, as you know that all these characters have such big love for her. Love in general is rather portrayed positively and not as something that you should feel ashamed of, like the crush that Sakura and Sharon have on Yukito. It's rather portrayed equally, which is quite revolutionary for the time at least, or the love story between Yukito and Toya. Love is regarded as such a natural thing no matter the gender, which is quite beautiful. The slow burn between Sakura and Sharon is also taken quite seriously, although I didn't take it serious at first because they're still kids, but the feelings of of children are not disregarded in the anime and it is portrayed quite impactful and important and not just as a stupid crush the two kids have on each other. The mangaka has so much respect for the characters and the story that she tries to tell that you cannot help but do the same thing. Once you do, you will love it. It might not be in your top 10 or drastically change how you view 
through cinema, but it will always have and will provide comfort. Hey Watchers, this is The Watcher. Sorry that I didn't post for a while, I was sick again and this time it hit me hard. But yeah, I'm back with a new video and I hope that you enjoyed it because I enjoyed making it. And yeah, this is not usually...